Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And of course, as the crimes of Joe Biden continues to be exposed in this latest uh, uh, report that was published just over the weekend, uh, showing that he did have classified information, that he knew what he was doing to classify information. He was giving it to reporters as they were writing a book for him. And then he sat there and said, well, I don't remember even being vice president. I don't remember about my son's death and et cetera, et cetera. So the IG's like, hey, well, he's just incompetent and he's uh, too incompetent to stand trial. Um, and this is why we're not pursuing any further charges, right? And of course, all the libs uh, on the mainstream media cried foul, saying, oh, you're dirtying this up and you're calling him incompetent. Well, so then he's not incompetent and so he can stand trial, right? Uh, oh, they don't want to talk about that, right? But this is the same things that they're going after Trump for, right? Is having these documents um, in this. And of course, the national archives, right? And never really cared about uh, documents being kept by former presidents and vice presidents, apparently, until Trump had uh, classified documents that he took home uh, with him, as every other president has done so in the past. But because it was Trump, they had to initiate this because they had to continue to go after him. And so they had to use this mechanism. So when they did that, they knew, they understood that there was going to be blowback for other past uh, elected officials holding these documents and saying, oh, crap, what do we do now? Well, we, what we do now, we'll just say they're incompetent, right? And so Biden is absolutely furious because this is where we are now. This He's absolutely furious with his own AG, with Merrick Garland, for not pursuing charges against Trump way sooner uh, because now all of everything that is happening with uh, Trump is now showing on Biden as well. And they, the American people are seeing, right? They're, they're recognizing the the efforts that the Democrats and these uh, globalists and all these individuals, the lengths that they've gone to sit there and try to take Trump out of the game. And so now we have this infighting within the Biden regime with the White House and the DOJ uh, not uh, reacting sooner to going after Trump as soon as he left office. So before we dive into today's article, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button if you're new here. Thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you, hopefully. You can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button at 1,500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that super thanks to become a, uh, and continue to show your support for this channel. So I do appreciate that. So let's kind of take a look at what we have here. Coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. Of course, a new report shows that Joe Biden angry is angry at Attorney General Merrick Garland uh, did not prosecute Trump sooner. Wanted Trump on trial and potentially jail before the 2024 election, right? He uh, the Biden. So Biden may be preparing to toss Attorney General Garland under the bus following the release of the DOJ special counsel report, which we have just discussed, Robert Hur's damning report on the poor memory and the building anger uh, over the pace of the Trump's election interference probe. Uh, Gateway pundits uh, Christina Layla uh, previously reported Biden went on the vulgar, vulgar tirade following the release of the Hur's report. Biden and his cronies are also uh, partially blaming uh, Garland for not exercising his authority to demand edits to her report. Now, a report from Political reveals that Biden is angry at Garland that that he didn't do anything sooner about Trump. Right? Uh, translation: Biden wanted the case decided before this election, which is still possible, purely to lock out Trump before the uh, 2024 election. It is an incredible yet uninspiring attempt scheme to abuse the power of his presidency. So, yeah. He absolutely wanted to go after Trump prior to uh, this election. And he wanted him locked up before this election because he wanted to lock up the number one individual uh, who could uh, defeat him in November. Uh, and he understood how unpopular he has become. He understood that the American people were saying, hey, wasn't that bad under Trump uh, during 2016 to 2020, right? Wasn't that bad? Uh, maybe we should go ahead and give this guy another look again. And they don't want that. They are going to do everything they can in order to, to stop that. But now that this report is uh, revealed to be what it is, you know, is damaging uh, Biden to where it, it's getting to the point now where there are calls from within his own party for him to step aside. Many people have speculated that Biden wouldn't be the nominee for the, uh, for the Democrats come 2024. Um, and this might be coming to fruition. I still believe that Biden will be the nominee. However, there are others out there that believe that Biden will be moved to the side. Who are you going to replace him with? Kamala Harris? 
which is even more unpopular than Biden. Um, and and it's already too late to try to put in anybody else, I would imagine so. Uh, but we'll see how the Democrats play this. But we'll continue to watch it and see how this goes. But Biden obviously is very upset with Merrick Garland. And I would even look to the at, at some point, maybe him replacing Garland to someone who will sit there and more uh, rapidly pursue this against Trump. So we'll see how all this plays out. So before, um, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.